Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Torque Drift for that English Town sponsorship tree exclusive content for this weekend. English Town is this weekend. Super excited for it. Starts today. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the found description box below. Let's get to it. So Torque Drift had a big update, and that is for this English Town event. The event starts today. Super excited to watch English Town. So we're going to go through the new sponsorship tree. That is the FD sponsorship tree where you can get the title F, title FD, the gauntlet. So we're going to try and do that. Our first challenge looks like a lead score in Matfield's Corvette of 55,000. So we're going to try that here for today. And hopefully we have my controller and everything linked up. We do. We're linked up with the controller. Matfield's vet. Initiate in. Kick it back. Trying to get in the, all these zones. Bringing it out. Oh, I like how it's got a little bar above us showing us where we need to be score-wise. I think we might be able to complete this challenge. Across the line! across the line with what did we get were we just short I think we might have been just short we were 50k so we're gonna try that again we were just shy I don't want to watch the replay we were just shy of that so we're gonna try it. try it again I feel like we can get this that feels that definitely a strong car here quick initiation in we're gonna try and stay in all the zones this time Make sure we get all the clipping points. No, we fell out of drift. Oh, as I say, we should be able to easily get this. We fall out of drift. I think we may have missed another clip because I think we got to clip this back this way and then flick it over there. Yeah, okay, that's what we need to do. So we're going to do that again. Nowhere near the score because we came out of drift trying to go a little bit spicy in that zone. So let's see if we can da you know, bang this challenge out. And move on to the next one. Third gear seems to be the gear. Quick hard initiation. Good initiation points right on there. A little bit of handbrake there. A little bit off the grass, but we managed to stay out of danger there. I think this might be the, the, the money run if we can stay without dying. I think we may have gotten it this time. Yep, yep, we got it. Over 55. We completed the first challenge in the FD English Town Tree. So we're going to move on to the next one. We completed that one. So we're going to head back and move on to the next. Hit seven clipping zones in a combo with Jonathan Nair's car. I feel like we can do that. We were able to do that in Fields' car. So let's see if we can do it in Nair's car. Third gear. Oh, oh. Oh, we did Mustang things. Oh, God. Um, <clears throat> uh. So after sending it for Mustang stuff, for Mustangs everywhere, we're going to try and get this this time. So the car is very... All right, there we go. Say so the car is very loose, so we're going to... No! We lost the combo because we fell out of drift, and I don't think we have enough here to finish this in this run we do not so we're gonna have to give it a go this car is super skatey from what Matt Fields' car was so we need to just slow down a little bit so that we can ensure that we get those seven clips in a combo and there's three off the rip one two three slow down there's four we're gonna slow down so manage we get these five there we go five six there's our seven so we managed to complete it just by slowing down a little bit we don't need to go too too fast in this mustang definitely uh liking the feel of the controller right now so we did complete that two challenges down and we're making our way up this tree what's our next challenge third challenge here is going to be all the way up here Oh man, it circles around. Chase score of 10K in Dean Kearney's Viper. Oh boy. 
Dean Kearney against Dylan Hughes. We have to get a 10,000 chase score in the Viper. And we are at this layout. Oh, I did not expect that to go that shallow. I do not, did not know that layout, so. All right, Dean Kearney's Viper. The Oracle Lighting Viper. Okay, we sent that. We sent that a little bit too hard. Now we're nowhere near him. We gotta catch up. Oh, we we gotta not send it in that first turn because that is uh, that is a rough a rough transition. So we gotta figure this one out. I think we need to go in second gear for that. Kind of just lose him. We're able to catch back up slightly. Oh, but we sent it into him. Mm, we would have been okay. I like how they have the challenge up top. You can see your progression. That turn, that first turn is very hard in this Viper. Not going to lie. We're gonna do it sooner. I just have no grip in the Viper. As you can see, this is uh. Kind of a challenge right now. I knew they wouldn't make this easy, but I think we need to just find our way to get behind Hughes. Nowhere near him, though. I do not think I will be able to complete this challenge in, in the Viper. This first turn is definitely getting me. Little bit better there. Oh, just shy. We almost had it. Almost had it. So that's what we need to do. Man, this is a challenge and this is a tough one. But I feel like we have the routine now. Quick early initiation and not stall the car. <clears throat> so this is not easy. If you guys beat this in one or two tries, let me know down in the comment section down below because I'd be very curious to see how many tries it took some of you guys. Because right there, we're still in. Now we're out of the tandem circle. We were close in the tandem circle, and now we're out. So we can surge up through the last section of that, and I feel like that's but we need to stay as close as we can on this first transition. So transitioning early is definitely the way to go and transitioning wide with him. All right, so we mapped our clutch pedal. So now we should be able to hopefully Clutch kick that way. Yep, yep. That's that is kind of what we needed. We needed a bit of a clutch kick pedal so that we did not screw ourselves on that one. We needed that clutch kick, so we were managed to complete the third challenge with a matter of getting a clutch kick, and that's what we needed. So next challenge on the dock is a what is this? Combo score lead. 10,000. We are in the go-kart track, so this could be a little bit more complicated than I thought. 10,000 lead score. I'm going to stay in second gear and just try and float this car around the course, getting as many clips as we can, just staying at angle. But that was not enough. We need to go faster. Because we need a 10,000, oh, a 10,000 combo score. All right. So it wasn't just 10,000 run score. All right, we need a little more speed. Third gear, maybe. Stay as much angle as we can. Put the car over there. Oh, uh, we lost it. I don't know how we lost it, but it, it said we lost it. 
So, unfortunately, this is a lot harder than I actually thought. So we are going to try this one more time. Nope. So we're going to give it another go. We uh, kind of did not get it last time. So we're going to just flick this hard this way and try and get these wall close to walls because wall tap works. Wall taps definitely help. Stay in angle. Oh, oh come on! Just shy. Oh, that would have been almost perfect, but we were just shy. Alright. So this is definitely a very challenging tree. For something simple as getting a 10,000 combo score, you would think this would be a lot easier. It ain't. This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. And we kind of just keep going too much sauce. We're trying to do some wide lines and stuff like that outside of the actual course line to get more points. Some close calls help. Some more close calls definitely help. Flip this wide. A little clutch kick. Nope. See? We didn't st keep enough speed going through that section. Nope. Sent it. So I think we may end this episode off here. We're going to be doing some more episodes because we do have 10 days to complete this challenge. We are going to be trying to complete this challenge and get that title. We got to stay in angle. So that's going to be our last run here for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Doggo saying we're done. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm your Rabbit. See you guys on the track.